What's up, you two? This is Magic Dragon 669 coming to you with uh, my review of Dark Knight Rises. Just got done watching it. Uh, I had to say, for it's $15. Yes, I said $15. Pretty rude. Midnight showing at Apple Bike Car Mike here in Minnesota. Um, saw with a bunch of friends, you know, a couple of them from Magic Yu Oh, pardon me, Yu Gi Oh! Um, but. Yeah, so, just got done watching it. I have to say, well done. I mean, it gives... It gives room for a sequel, but there won't be a sequel. I mean, it's like... You could... I mean, it looks like there's going to be a Justice League, but, I mean, how can you do a Justice League movie with the seriousness that is this Batman? Of course, Batman does have a stick of his ass most of the time, it takes everything way too fucking seriously. But still, you, you got to realize that this movie was amazing. I mean, it's going to top. It's probably going to beat all Avengers, but, I mean, it's probably going to come close for tie. My guess is tie. There is going to be a tie for Avengers. It's, it's showing. So I'm going to actually set my phone down while I'm going to start driving. And it's hard to see me right now. But, you know, I'm going to talk about this on the way home. A few scenarios and problems I had. Um, the problem I had was, was the rumor, rumors stating, oops, uh, no, but rumors stating that Batgirl was supposed to make an appearance in this. What's wrong with Batgirl is because Batgirl was Barbara Gordon in the comics. The first Batgirl was Barbara Gordon. Now, my favorite Batman series was The Batman. It ran on WB for kids entertainment channel. Not for kids, suck. Because that's just a whole another kick caboodle. Um, and stuff, which I will review later because I just have season one and season two of it. But what I want to talk about is the fact that this one had Catwoman and Batman. Bane, and ma major spoiler, I will put this in the preview, in the warning, major spoiler, um, for, uh, everything, but, Talia al Ghul makes an appearance, yes, Ra's al Ghul's uh, daughter makes an appearance here, as the supposed lover of Bane, Bane, <coughs> in this version, Bane is not on Venom. He's on a constant, constant supply of morphine. And why he's got busy, he's, oh, he's also running on adrenaline. A mix of morphine and adrenaline, supposedly. And the way they described it, he's constantly being fed morphine and adrenaline. That's how he's super strong and he's able to do it. One thing I liked about this was they actually like made a line in the comic. I've broken your spirit. Now I break the back back. That was in there. They made reference to that. I was astonished. I was absolutely thrilled when they made that. I said it word for word when he spoke it too. Um. Now, halfway through when they're talking about the pit, when Batman gets thrown in this pit, uh, known as the Hell, Hell Prison. I, I don't know if it's a true name, but that's the prison where they tell the backstory of Bane. But in reality, it's the backstory of Talia. She was born in a prison, raised by her mother, saved by Bane. Right, try, raised by Bane. Uh, yeah. But in uh, what he does, he has to escape from his world. And he escapes and everything, so it's all good there. We just, you know, there's no spoilers. But Talia is later revealed to be Talia, who is the true daughter. Which I mean, as soon as they're talking about child of race, you only have Talia. And the lesser known from the animated series, the guy from, like, the Old West, when I mean, he's. 180 in a rest home in the animated series, mind you. But the only other main, 
uh, Al Ghul is Talia. Talia Al Ghul. I mean, as soon as they say child of Raish, you can connect it right to Talia. It's there, it's connected, we're good. Uh, things that I've noticed about this, there is maybe room for a spin-off featuring a uh, Robin, which we're not sure which Robin it is. They said it was Blake, was his name, which I think they're giving clues to Drake, Tim Drake, for a uh, Robin. Now, I'm trying to remember here, um, I think which one was the first Robin? Dick Grayson was the first. Dick Grayson. They skipped to Dick Grayson and during Tim Blake um, as, as the Robin. But I'm not sure it's going to be Robin. They could skip Robin and go straight to Nightwing with this character. Um, with this. But it doesn't follow any comic book, any main storyline. It's its own storyline. Um, I like how they do it about Jonathan Crane, a.k.a. Scarecrow, makes an appearance this weekend, which is nice. <coughs> um, what else is in it? Is there any, what other bad is there? Not much. Do the Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman. They have this Catwoman be instead of the other one. Um, this one is the prostitute. I want to say prostitute one. Uh, but she doesn't do that much prostitution. She does more thieving. Her friend, though, the one that does the trick, um, is in it, though. Uh, with Batman Year One. If you watch the animated short, that's the Selena Kyle they gave us here. Uh, they gave us that one. So, you know, that's, that's the one they gave us, the one with Selena Kyle. Uh, they gave her the choice issues, you know, her the neutrality in her, how she sets, gives up Batman to Bane, or how she later on returns to save them. You, you got your your uh, conflicting neutrality there. Um, yeah, as this comes down to, it was a good movie. I know you have trouble seeing me now in this video. I apologize, but knowing me, I'm just talking about it, and it's not really um, about visual. It's about words and being talked to. Sorry about that. That's, that's my key. Um, but yeah, it, it stated the fact that you have a good plot, a good setup. It leaves room for a possible sequel. But there was a talk about the actor who played Batman not wanting to be Batman anymore. He he stated that he didn't want to do this anymore. He was done. Um, I'm going to kind of fight you on it, too. Uh, but, yeah, now you can see me now. Um... So yeah, it stated several factitions uh, that, uh, I mean, they give good setup to ruin Bruce Wayne. A lot of people know he's Batman, like six people know he's Batman now. Lucius Fox always knew from the beginning. Uh, Gordon now knows. The Blake knows, the uh, asks the, the cop, um, you know, Catwoman knows who he is now. Bane knew who he was now. Talia Al Ghul knows who he was. And all the people who saw Bane in fighting, when I mentioned earlier about breaking the bat's back, they noticed that now that <clears throat> hey, Bane had a mask in there, which brings root to his luchador roots from the animated series, how Bane went on an experiment, no concern. But it shows his uh, fight for the mask, how he fights for the mask. The only, I mean, as I talk about it, I'll give my what I like about it. What I like, it's subtle hints to comics and old episodes of animated series. What I disliked about it, well, not much to dislike. It's more strong, eh, about it. I mean, the ending, 
is where I kind of was like, okay, you know, this is good, but, you know, you could have done it this way. Um, but, yeah. I mean, the ending is where I kind of was like, okay, you turned your house into a child orphanage. What if some child accidentally plays the keys? Oh, he finds the bat cave. Unless you sealed up the entrance and, you know, and everything. But there's that. Um, I mean, there's several possibilities from where they can go with this. They can turn a Justice League movie out. They could make a third Batman movie, or just call it Robin, or a Robin movie. <clears throat> um, what else is there? Justice League movie could possibly tie in with the Superman movie, but I don't know what they're doing with the Superman movie, if it's a remake or what. But, you know, they got that there. <clears throat> Otherwise, yeah. But my question, you know... This, this is probably gonna be up on fan fiction in a little while. I'm gonna go check there see what they already people are writing about now. Um, but with this, there are several moments where other superheroes could have made like a guest appearance. I mean, I know they don't. Um, didn't stay for the end of the credits because I didn't see the restroom really bad. Uh, movie was a two and a two and a half hour movie, I think. Two hours plus. You know, I started at midnight, it's now 3-something, 3.30, I'm going to guess. 3.30 in the morning. I should be hitting the bed now. I will do a part 2 to this review when I'm more awake. Please leave, subscribe, and comment to this video. Or if you want to just yell at me for my stupidity, go ahead. As long as I know people are watching.